what determines the width of the mega menu? Let's work with this menu that I've created up here and I'll select the first item. To activate the mega menu, you do it on a menu item per item basis. So I can activate the mega menu just for this about area. And then I can keep these guys as normal item links. And if I want to make them mega menus as well, I'll just select them. And then from the little bar on the left, you go to the mega menu. So let's select services and I will activate a mega menu. To see how it works, interact with the others and you will see that these are normal item links. And then here you have an area in which you can build out anything you want the Brizzy way. And I'll just bring in some text there and let's select the box as well and change the color for the background. Okay, cool. I think then let's make this one purple. Make it very funky. And then let's see the settings over here. This is the container of the mega menu. And you can see you can put it in pixels, viewport width, or percentage. And currently it's set to 80%. If I increase it to 100%, you will see it stretches and I have a much bigger area. And just for a quick reference, the offset is how far away this mega menu appears from the item links in your menu. Select portfolio and then go back to services and select it. And now you would see that our mega menu has shifted. It looked like it was an offset to the right here, but in fact it wasn't. It just kept the space and it stretched to 100%. So what 100% are we talking about? And the 100% of this mega menu that you get here from the settings pertains to the column in which it is housed. So if I have this column up here, and I bring in an additional column so I can bring in a contact us button. Let me drag that button in there so we can get a little bit more clarity in this world. And I'll drag it to the right and I'll drag this one again to the left. Now, when I click on services, you will see that the mega menu is 100% again to the column. Now, as I drag and I'll go back to services, the width of the mega menu changes. That is very important to remember because you may only have the menu here and you want the mega menu only to appear under the menu, not the entire full length of the column. For that, you go to the settings of the container and then you put it, let's say on something like 50%. Let's click again on services because it locks it in. And now go to the container and align it to the right. There's a lot and you can see just by that how you can change the settings, how you can change the alignment of the container, a lot that you can do with the width and the placement of the mega menu. This is a very cool tool in my opinion and a lot to explore with done the Brizzy way. Another trick I think that you could consider and I'm going to put it back on 100% just to show you, well, a workaround, I'm not sure it's just a different way, and that is actually to create another column. So I'll reduce this column and then I'll reduce this column. And then let's drag this column to the right. And let's drag this column. And I'll add a spacer in there so that I can control the height of that one. Now it is set to 100%, but you will see it will only take on the width of the column it is placed inside. So a few options you have there to control that width of the mega menu. Hop on over to your Brizzy account today, activate a few mega menus there and go mega ballistic. For more on updates, news, tips and how to use the Brizzy Builder, all the ins and outs, subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit us at brizzy.io. Until next time.